Today, President Obama asked Congress for nearly $2 billion to fight the Zika virus, and the CDC moved to its highest alert level. At least 57 cases have been reported in the U.S., and our Dr. John LaPook is just back from Brazil, ground zero of the outbreak. He talked to the doctor who found the link between Zika and birth defects. Pediatric neurologist Dr. Vanessa Vanderlinden saw her first case of microcephaly back in August. Soon, more infants with the same condition, the same unusually small head. During two weeks in the middle of uh, September, uh, five cases of babies with microcephaly. Her mother, Anna, also a doctor, phoned with troubling news. She called me, Vanessa, that now I see seven babies with microcephaly in the same day. When you heard that, what did you think? It's a new disease, it's something very strange. You need to think of agents that cause epidemic, that cause many cases at the same time. You were like detectives. Yes, yes. After ruling out the usual causes, they looked for other clues. 70% of the women reported a rash during pregnancy, a symptom that helped lead them to the main suspect, Zika. Rayani Campello and Elvis Torres's baby, Evelyn Melissa, was born in October. This is her first child. If any mother or father could choose, she said, they would choose to have a normal baby, a healthy baby. But because you cannot choose, I am going to love my daughter. We can't go back and change something here in Brazil, but we can uh, help the other place of the world. Dr. Vander Linden helped sound the alarm, but Scott, so many questions remain. Does Zika actually help cause the microcephaly? Is something else playing a role? And how do we protect ourselves from the virus? Finally, what will happen to these babies as they grow up? Dr. John LaPook for us again tonight. John, thank you.